Hey y'all, Love Biscuit here, and right now, if you don't know, this is ME3 multiplayer. That's right, I love my Mass Effect multiplayer. I think it's fun. But <laughs> anyways, right now, this is my level 20 engineer. I'm using an assault rifle, and it's a lighter weight one, so it doesn't really hamper my abilities too much, and I really love my abilities, so that's important to me. And the assault rifle just looks badass. I love it. But anyways... <laughs> Um, this is the Firebase Dagger, and I'm fighting some Geth. Pretty simple. And I actually cut this video up really, really quickly. I was going to do some Modern Warfare 3 videos instead, but I couldn't find anything worth a darn on my computer, and I just wanted to make a really quick video. Basically, so I was going to steal one from Tinkle Monkey. He has a few on my computer, but they aren't worth a darn. I mean, they were awful, and I know that he would probably murder me in my sleep if I posted them up. And I can't even tell you how bad they were because I still think he might murder me in my sleep if I tell you. But, anyways. <laughs> I, yeah, so I was going to just do a quick Modern Warfare 3 video, but I didn't have anything. And then, yeah, so this was pretty much all that I had on my computer. So I just cut it up really quickly, and I haven't had a video out to you guys in about a week. So I just wanted to do a really quick one. And this is, I think, the first commentary that I just pressed record and I'm talking. So you guys really get to see me on a true Love Biscuit ramble fest. It's really what it is, a ramble fest. But, um, yeah, I haven't been able to put anything up in about a week because my daughter got sick. And at first it wasn't too bad. I mean, she had a fever, she threw up, things like that. But like the next day she wasn't throwing up or anything. She was just coughing and, you know, runny nose, fever still, but better. And I think I was able to put up a video. I think that was my last video that I put up. I was able to do one really quick while she was taking a nap or something. I don't really recall. Or else I had it done before and then I just posted it. Ah, who knows? I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but anyway, so the last video I had up was really freaking long, so... My apologies about that. It was just a crazy video. But um, anyway, so yeah, I thought she was getting better, but she started getting worse, and my doctor's office couldn't get her in for Lord knows how long, so I took her to the ER, which is not something I do. I, I don't know. Unless you're bleeding profusely from the head, to me, it's not an emergency. But when it comes to my kid, I'm willing to overlook these things. I am a bit of... I guess I'm a crazy mom, I guess you would call me. I really, I don't know, I strive to make sure that my kid is healthy and happy and all that good stuff, well-educated, you know, I don't know, I'm weird, not really weird, I mean, that's all good stuff, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I ended up breaking down and taking her to the ER because I didn't want her to get worse because her fevers were getting really bad at, at night, mostly when she was laying down, and that, I guess it was just part of whatever she, she has some sort of thing she's antibiotics. I don't know. Sinusitis is what they called it. So, yeah. And some people were telling me just to use a neti pot, but you know what? I I have a hard enough time using a neti pot, you know, as a 20-something woman, let alone trying to do it to a six-year-old little girl. Yeah. So, and what's really comical is she loves it. Like, the first time she, she had to take it, she was like, it's delicious. Wow, it tastes so good. And I'm like, yeah, well, you can't eat it. <laughs> it's medicine. Um, but I remember that as a kid, loving to take amoxicillin, because it, it tasted amazingly yummy. Bubblegum, whatever. Yeah. But anyway, so she's doing better now. Thank goodness. The fevers are gone. She's just still stuffy and a little coffee, but they say that that should go away soon. So it better. I'm going to be kicking some butt. Yeah. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I've been reading, I've still been reading Twitter. I know that I haven't really been keeping up with you guys. I'm sorry, I haven't really sat down at my computer and done anything. Most of it has been on my phone, so it's been a lot of retweets and things. I've been retweeting things I wouldn't normally retweet just because I thought they were great. Um, but, you know, I didn't really have a chance to, like, reply. My daughter's been keeping me really busy because, you know, when they're sick, they're, I mean, not exactly demanding, but you kind of want to be there to, you know, do whatever you can to help them out and things like that. And then, of course, I had a few other surprises in my life. Um, good ones. So, and I'm still dealing with some other surprises that were not so good. And maybe at some point I'll talk about it, but right now I'm not. So, 
I'm sure someday it'll come out in the commentary, but right now it's just not. Just know that I'm here and dealing. But anyways, so um, yeah, that's why my videos have been sort of slower. Um, I'm really hoping to get more content out to you guys because quite frankly, I really love doing this. I really, I don't know why. I am really enjoying just sitting here. All I did was press record. I had no topic picked out or anything and I'm just having a blast. I really, <laughs> I don't know why. I like talking to myself. I hear voices. But no, seriously, when I first started my channel four months ago, I hadn't really started. You know, I, I made a couple videos, but I didn't really get into it or anything. I wasn't in it to win it yet. And then I started, you know, I was like, well, I love the commentaries. I think they're great. Um, the only problem was I'm really not that into Modern Warfare 3. I, love, I, I like playing first-person shooters. I, I really enjoy it, but it's like, I guess I get to that point where I'm not having any fun because I'm dying constantly, so I don't really like it. So, you know, if I don't win from time to time and get, you know, that buzz from winning, I don't want to keep playing, and that's sort of what happens. Um... Yeah, I just, I never get that buzz from winning anything. Or even just getting high up on the boards. Usually that's enough of a buzz for me to keep going. But with Modern Warfare 3, I've never even been in the middle of the board, you know. Except maybe a couple of times. But I also haven't dedicated a lot of time to it. I don't know. That's my own fault. It really is. I haven't dedicated a lot of time. So, you know, that's that's really my my thing. But I've been trying to lately put in a little time, you know, every week here and there. I'm not really doing any better, but I'm not doing any worse. So I guess that's a, a step in the right direction. Um, also, I was, uh, you know, decided to start doing a couple, like, games. Like, I would, you know, play. And, you know, now that I can do longer videos, I'm, like, trying to do, like, quests or missions for certain videos. And, you know, voicing over those. And I guess those are called Let's Play. I had no idea when I first started, I guess. I was just like, ah, you know, what can I talk over? I'm just going to talk while I play. I hadn't really been, you know, through the YouTube community. I didn't realize what a large group that is. And, you know, I also realized most people kind of just dedicate to, like, one or the other. You know, it's either Let's Play or it's Commentaries. And if they, you know, do both, it's usually on a different channel. So, to me, I just want it all on one channel. I don't want to have to be like, oh, okay, well, I need to put something on this channel. Oh, I need to put something on this channel. But, again, this isn't my job. And I guess if it was, maybe I would want it. I, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't. I have no idea. I don't feel like I would want to, you know, dedicate that much time. Um, but, yeah, so one thing I actually wanted to touch on is Twitter has been blowing the freak up on me lately. And all it talks about is Raw Instinct. Now, I've never been to his Twitter. I've never been to his channel. Um, I've only heard about him. I think I heard about him one time when I was watching T. Martin something or other. And they talked about him. And it was just kind of like a tiny joke. That was the only other time that I heard about him. And then just the other day, my Twitter was blowing up about him. And here's sort of my take, I guess. I might as well just give you guys mine because I kind of have one. Stop talking about him. Stop talking about him. Stop making videos about him. Stop twitting about him. I call it twitting. It's twittering. Whatever. You know, don't talk about him. Don't go to his channel to see who he's copying now. Don't watch his videos. You know, don't sub. Don't follow. Don't do any of that. Because you want to know what you guys are doing? You guys are giving him free publicity. And because what's going to happen is people are going to be like, Oh, that guy's funny because he's just copying these guys. And he's all like, yeah, in your face. And then what happens? You know, he gets all these followers, all these subscribers, and you guys basically just gave him free publicity. And he, all he had to do was copy people. I don't know. That's sort of my take on that. So, uh, I'm probably never going to talk about him again, but I just wanted to give my two cents because everybody else is. <laughs> But anyways, we're rounding up to the end of this video, and I was able to talk about absolutely nothing for almost nine minutes. Well, over nine minutes. Yeah! In your face, suckers! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not really that great at the multiplayer either, but I figure, you know what? I make it through the 11 rounds. I gotta be decent, right? Alright. <laughs> anyways, guys. I'm Love Biscuit, and I will see you guys soon.